Paronychias are painful. I've had them, you've probably had them, they're really common and they hurt. And as the pus builds up and up in your finger, it just becomes more and more painful. So draining a paronychia is something that's pretty straightforward that we can do in ED really easily to relieve pain. And it doesn't actually involve making any incisions at all. Here's how I drain a paronychia. First off, what is a paronychia? It's an infection in the nail fold in the paronychium and you get this pus building up and because it's got nowhere to escape, it just gets more swollen and more painful. And that's when people do sometimes present to ED with pain and swelling and you can help relieve that. Our broad management plan is gonna to be to get the pus out. Just giving antibiotics without relieving the pus isn't gonna be the best plan. It's easy to do to get the pus out, so forget about the antibiotics and let's get on with the procedure. What's wonderful about draining a paronychia is that you don't actually need to make a cut to get the pus out. You actually just need to separate the layers. So that layer of the nail fold against the nail, if you can separate that, the pus is gonna come out and you're gonna get instant relief. The best way to make sure that your procedure is successful is to try to soften the skin so that it's easier for you to separate the layers. And you're gonna do this by putting their finger in a a pot of warm water for 10 minutes and that just helps soften it. So get them to set their finger in a pot while you get all your kit together. You don't need a lot of kit for this procedure. I get a dressing pack so I've got something to rest things on and some gauze and you don't need to use a sharp needle so just use a blunt needle or you could use some forceps. Basically something blunt to separate the layers gently is totally fine. Analgesia wise there's no need for a ring block here. A ring block is going to be way more painful than doing the procedure itself. Most children are completely fine. Uh, they've just had some paracetamol beforehand. As long as they understand what you're doing, it should be totally okay. If you really had an anxious child, you could use some Entenox. The painful part isn't going to be separating the layers here. It's going to be the squeezing because it's sore around the finger and when you have to squeeze to get the pus out, that's going to be painful. And I tend to find if we explain to them what they're going to do, uh, they're totally on board with this. And it's a short procedure that doesn't last for very long. So for the procedure itself you get your blunt needle or forceps and you gently separate the layers as you can see if you just do this steadily eventually you will hit the sweet spot where the pus starts coming out and you're going to be very happy relieving that pressure is going to help relieve the pain immediately but you are going to need to squeeze a bit to get the rest of the pus out and this part is going to be a bit uncomfortable so squeeze make sure you've got as much pus as you can out but remember that it is open now so it should drain out as needed so you don't need to go nuts on getting everything out but try and relieve the majority of it by getting the pus out. You may see a bit of blood coming out with the pus. Don't panic, that's okay, that's normal. Uh, you haven't done anything wrong. It's just a bit of blood mixed in with the pus. It's completely normal. I don't give them any antibiotics. You have relieved the pus and it should improve. They need to know how to look after the finger afterwards though. I normally advise them to do the same thing, basically soak it in warm water for 10 minutes each day and try and separate the layers if they feel it's accumulating. They may not need to because it may be enough. If it does reaccumulate, so if they get more spreading, redness, swelling, pain, obviously more pus there, they'll need to come back and at the time when they represent although you might drain it again I think it's probably a good time to give them antibiotics then but I don't normally give them antibiotics on their first drain because uh, that's usually adequate to treat the paronychia. It's a simple technique to drain paronychias without making any incision. There's a really great post on this in Emlyn's website by Natalie May, which I'll link to in the notes below that you should check out that explains this in more detail. Uh, hopefully now you can confidently drain a paronychia.